Hey everyone, welcome back. Another Tuesday here, and I've gone through another five pounds of world coins in the last week. This week I went through five pounds from seller number one. This is the third time I've done that, and I did really well. I'm really happy with some of these cool coins um, that I'm going to show you that are new types into my collection. Um, overall, I think there's 37 coins here I'm going to show you, and there were 155 coins I added to my collection. And there were actually two silver coins. and They are both very small. It was a total of uh, 1.65 grams actual silver weight. And one of those coins is in here, and I'm super excited about it, and I'll show it to you, even though it has almost no silver in it. But this was exciting to me. Newfoundland, uh, Canada, 1941, one cent. I believe this is my first coin from Newfoundland. So I was excited about that. So we got a Croatia to Kony. Denmark, one ore from 1917. Real happy with that. Ecuador, five centavos, 1928. Um, and kind of the trend continues with this, the coins from the seller. There's quite a few older ones. We got a 1933 Egyptian coin there. El Salvador. You know, some of the other sellers, they um, go through these more and they pull out coins uh, to sell as specifically older lots. And this seller doesn't. And I can significantly see the difference. That... Uh, Coins kind of trashed, but still happy to have it. We got an 1886 Hungarian coin. Iceland here. Kind of a cool one. Not as old, but still really like it. Let's see. I think, yeah, look at this. This one's got a star on it. So this is from um, like a set issue. I don't know if it's appropriate to call it a mint set or not um hey here's a fao coin forestry for development from jamaica and here's a uh, <clears throat> jamaican proof coin i think there's a couple more of these that um like i said before i think they must have popped open the proof sets took the good stuff and thrown the rest in here i thought this one was cool uh 1930 Luxembourg coin. Got a Charlotte on there. Couple from Nepal. Let's see. Norway. Uh, There's just a slight um, difference between the two catalog numbers that the text is smaller on this one. Got a coin from Pakistan. Panama, Philippines, 1908, got a Peruvian coin, and here's our silver coin, 10% silver, Ottoman Empire, 10 para from 1901, it, I would not have been able to guess that this coin was 10% silver. I, I assume it's alloyed with um, probably close to 90% copper. I don't know what else they mixed in there. Maybe some nickel. Um, but cool coin, old coin, got some silver in it. Point, I think it's two grams, like 0.2 grams of silver. Almost nothing, but I was, I was excited about it. San Marino. FAO coin, I think. Are these both FAO coins? No, just this one. It even says it there at the bottom. South Africa. Hi, hey, look at that. Another South Arabia coin. And this was cool. I, I mean, this is like my second coin ever from Solomon Islands, and it's a proof coin. Tonga. Oh, he's excited about a new Tongan coin because I don't have very many. 
Got an aluminum coin from Turkey here. Just a few more, bear with me. Venezuela. An FAO coin from Tunisia. By the way, the other um, silver coin, I think, was a three pence from Australia or New Zealand. One of those. I think it must have been uh, Australia. And lastly, we got Myanmar, 1953. So I'm um, really happy with this. Um, a little bit confused how Namista uh, does the Israeli coins. Sometimes um, when it is the set issue, it's a new um, catalog number. And sometimes it's it's not a new catalog number. Like they're not separated out in Numista's catalog. Um, so I think there actually were three coins that had these stars on them. But only one was a separate type where the other two were still um, included in the type without the stars. Um, so there must have been a uh, Israeli kind of mint set or set of some type that was broken out to put into the bulk coins too so kind of really happy about that I think it's kind of cool um pleased and pleased with uh what I got out of this lot uh, I hope you enjoyed taking a look at these coins with me uh, especially some of those cool ones like that Ottoman Empire coin um, and I hope you all come back next week to see uh, what I find in the next five pounds which will should be from seller uh, number two um, thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.